Hello and welcome to The Buzz. Today I'm going to tell you about something that happened last Friday night that has not happened since before the New York Times put a color photo on its front page. But first, the Lou's Thrifty Way Game of the Week. Chambers Wheeler Central went to Humphrey St. Francis last Friday night, one of the most entertaining football games I have ever watched. Final score of the game was 50 to 43. Humphrey St. Francis ended up winning, but about five minutes earlier, I think everybody there thought it was over when Humphrey St. Francis faced a fourth and 22 from its own three yard line. One timeout left in the game, trailing 43 to 34. So they have to score two touchdowns. They can't call a timeout. They have to get the first down on the next play because if they don't, Chambers Wheeler Central is at the three yard line. They're gonna score. So what's Humphrey St. Francis do? They win the football game. Two Austin Claussen touchdown grabs from Damian Baumgart helped them overcome that hurdle. They were able to shut Chambers Wheeler Central down in the final five minutes, which they didn't do over the first 43 minutes of the football game. Brendan Pelster, 158 rushing yards. He passed for 202 yards for Chambers Wheeler Central. Now both teams have work to do. One of the biggest things for St. Francis is gonna be what the injury to All-State running back J.J. Oldmer was this weekend. Oldmer left the game after the first quarter with a shoulder injury, but Kyle Wemhoff filled in nicely, rushing for 108 yards. The night before that, not quite such an entertaining game unless you're a Norfolk Catholic fan. Norfolk Catholic rolled past David City 47-7. Big reason for that, Nathan Boyle threw four touchdown passes, twice hooked up with Jacob Beller, once on the night's first possession of the game from 38 yards and then right before halftime from 30 yards, kind of gave him momentum into the second half to pull away for the win. Defensively, Norfolk Catholic is still probably one of the strongest teams in the state. They actually gave up a touchdown from their first unit, but they bounced back. Moving quickly back to Friday night, Lutheran High Northeast bounced back from its first loss of the year, but they needed a little bit of work to get the win over Laurel Concord Coleridge. They were up only 34 to 22 at halftime. Lightning wasn't the only reason for that. They were delayed by lightning that was about 250 miles away. A little bit odd, haven't seen it before. Dylan Wolfgram, though, for Laurel Concord Courage, a big part of the reason that Lutheran High Northeast really had to battle. Wolfgram threw for 288 yards and four touchdowns for the Bears. But in the second half, Nick and Nate Stoles the show, because Stoles is their last name, and they Stoles the show. Nate finished with 124 yards and a touchdown on seven carries. Nick had 131 yards and four touchdowns on 12 carries. Lutheran High Northeast is now 3-1 and one on the season. Another quick little fact about Friday night now, Pearson Howells Dodge both lost for the first time on the same night since October 3rd, 1997. Technically, Howells Dodge didn't lose in 1997 as the program wasn't around back then, but because Howells coach Mike Spears then moved into the Howells Dodge position, we'll call it a continuation of the Howells program for this purpose. That means it's been 16, almost 17 years since Pearson Howells Dodge lost on the same night. What does that mean? That means that we were still mourning the deaths of the notorious B.I.G. and Princess Di the last time this happened. That means I went to Titanic 47 times in one week at the movie theater. These losses don't mean that those programs are down. It just means Columbus Scotus, Guardian Angel Central Catholic, those are two quality top 10 programs in the state. And I'm a quality top 10 program in my heart because my mom said so. She always told me she loved me and I believed her. Till next time, I'm Tom Beamer for the bus.